before the close guard, we're gonna look at a good way of controlling him and controlling his posture. So AJ immediately puts his hands here to try to keep himself up in good position. We're gonna try not to let him keep his hands here. So you can work through a few options. Going underneath before it gets set up too well and pulling forward or one step before that, keeping your hands there. So when he reaches in, it's hard for him to get a grip, fighting the hands and fighting the grips. If he does get on you, like we were saying, underneath and over. If he does get a grip here, then we're looking at breaking those grips, okay? And um, we'll look at now if he has, say if he goes with one hand in front, one hand behind, quite often what he will do, we're just gonna reach up over the top, collar, and drop our elbow in here. Best time to do it is as he goes to start standing up. He has one post on here. We pull him in with our knees, because his head is usually moving forward a little bit for him to get balanced. Pull in with our knees this way, Pull forward and down with her hand and drop her elbow into his support. This is what's keeping him up when we start pulling with her legs. So as he goes to stand up, we pull him down. So once again, just from the start, we have our hands in on our chest. We're going to fight the grip. Don't let him get a grip. If he gets his hands on you, try to pull him down. If he gets a grip and you're not getting underneath it, over the top. As he goes to stand up, pull with the knees towards your head. Rock forward, pull down with the grip, buckle his elbow. So just one last time, we're fighting the grips, blocking the space where he wants to put his hands. He can come underneath and break them down, or he gets purchase on it, up over the top, and break them down. All right, so straightforward enough, but very important to know how to do. Okay, give it a try on two, guys. One, two. It's a good grip in and of itself, without any of the attacks, because you can control his posture, like you just done. You're rocking in with your knees, you're pulling the grip. At the start of a match, a lot of time he'll be like he's going to use his arms and his back muscles to get away from that, the posture. We're mainly using a bit of muscle on our lats. We're also using gravity and the technique of rocking him in. Over the course of a match of a few minutes, he starts getting more and more tired, harder and harder for him to get posture back. We're going to start looking at, so that's the first thing to do. Control him, break his posture. Then when we're comfortable with that, we can start attacking. We're going to take um, cross collar and sleeve control. So we're going to take the sleeve and pull it up, keeping your elbow out. I'm going to open my guard here, keeping your hips just off the ground, but using my knees on his hips to stay tight, rather than like putting your feet on the ground, letting him jump all over the place. Hip escape, and my knee is in. If you can't get your foot onto his hip, that's great, really good pay, uh, sorry, place to keep your foot. If you can't get that far, just hip escape again. Knee here up to his far shoulder, reinforce with your elbow, and grip is a way. Don't let him just grab onto your leg here, out like that, and start annoying you. Keep it up and up. Once we get that position, we're going to do the scissor sweep. So just for a moment, we can drop our knee down a little bit more and tap here like a scissors, over and to the side. Works best when his knees are a little bit narrower than AJ's are here. Get his weight up and over and kick him. If his face is wider, you can kick on the leg here. Just be careful if you're on top here that you don't catch your toes in the mat around like that. You can kick it out, kick him over to the side, up on top, good control. Knees wide, balance. This grip here is going to come in handy for finishing as well. Okay, so we have our grip, we've controlled them, get another grip, hip escape, knee here to his far shoulder, elbow reinforces it, foot in the hip, and keep this grip nice and tight. Pull him forward so his legs get light, tip him over. Either kicking out, or if he goes narrower, scissors over, heavy foot, drive up on top, control, finish. <coughs> All right, give it a try on two, guys. One, two. Again, guys, we're going for a cross collar sleeve control here. So for center up from here, opening the guard, hip escape, again, our knee. If you don't get enough space the first time, it's okay to hip escape again. Try to get your hip out to the side. Rather than being underneath him here and taking more of his weight, saying to a few people individually, get off to the side of him. Makes him a lot lighter if he tries to put the weight on you. Harder for him to pass you. This also works quite well if one of your legs ended up trapped here. We end up in the half guard. Very similar position. We won't be able to scissor sweep him, but we can do this next move anyway. If he gets too close and he, where he feels a bit too heavy, one thing that we can do to make him think twice about putting the weight on is go for an X choke. So this grip here, if we went for a good grip in the first place, should be pretty much at the lapel, label at the back of his neck. Not too shallow where it won't do anything when you try to choke him. If it's not tight enough here, if there's too much material, just flick it like you're flicking a fishing rod. Just flick it out and back. And then I'm gonna put my hand here on the near side you can go over the top and lift and grab, sink him back in, start to squeeze, try to get the finish. If you don't get the finish, he's probably going to try to drive backwards away from it, and now he's not putting his weight on you anymore. So it works well either way. So we have our control. Control, maybe he's getting too much weight on us. 
cinch it up, get all this material here on the top of his shoulder, grab it, drop the elbow down. This one braces where he is and this one pulls around and into it. Drop him down, use the legs to rock him in, pull, finish. All right, give it a try in two, one, two.